Hey man, what is good, Jesse boy? Jump on back with another video, man. I hope every single one of you guys is having a great, great day. So, as I told you guys, man, I'm trying to run this channel up again. My old channel got deleted. I couldn't do reactions on it. And I had a lot of people that love my reactions, especially I had a lot of people from Serbia that enjoyed my reactions. So, I'm going to start doing a lot more reactions to Serbia and to a lot of different other countries and just learning other things. And I might even include, you know, maybe even other funny videos. Um, so I hope you guys support me in this video. I'm trying to grow my channel all over again. Now, my old channel was at like 6K subscribers and when it got deleted. So hopefully we can grind to the top again. I really appreciate your guys' support. So every single one of you guys, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. It really does help the channel grow. And comment what video I should react to next. You know, as I said, I have a lot of Serbian people that enjoy my videos. And you guys are always kind to me. So I really appreciate that. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and suggest me other videos I should react to. Um, and we can learn about other countries as well. You know, if, if, if some videos are not about Serbia and it's about different countries, try to support those videos so we can, like, you know, grow the channel, have different countries, you know, supporting the channel so we can be bigger. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, we got the real James Bond, Wells Balkin. Um, this should be a pretty interesting video. James Bond, I love his movies. I haven't watched every single movie by James Bond. But I think he's a great actor, um, and his his movies are classic. So this this video was by World War Two. I've never heard of them before, but they sound interesting. I'll subscribe and I'll leave a like for them. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. It is nine minutes. I'm gonna try not to talk a lot. So let's get straight into this video, man. Let's go. Have in common, Dusko Popov, the Playboy spy master with a Dusko Popov. That's a that's a. Dusko Papa. That's a very interesting name. That's very interesting. A lot of fingers and a lot of pies. World War II. Welcome to another World War II in real time biography special where I take a closer look at the major or interesting figures of the war. I'm Indy Nidell. Dusan Dusko Popov is born July 10th, 1920. Was James Bond? Hold up. Let me take my sweater off because I'm getting really hot right now. Was James Bond actually, was he a real person? Or, or he, is he a made-up character? He's a made-up character. He's got to be a made-up character, right? No, he's Tito a real person. In the Austro-Hungarian Empire to a very wealthy Serbian family with interest in banking, industry, and real estate. Despite the huge changes of the time, uh, the Great War, the founding of Yugoslavia, things like that, Dusko and his two brothers grow up in comfort and luxury. They spend a lot of their time sailing I on... I like that name, though. Dusko. That's a very interesting name. Dusko. Dusko. I like that. The Adriatic. That. Riding horses and playing water polo and tennis. At 16, he goes to school in England and France. He then studies back at the University of Belgrade. By 1934, he is studying for a doctorate of law at the University of Freiburg in Germany. He has little time for the Nazis, who by now run Germany. In law. He studied law. So you got to be really, like, not not really smart, but you got to have it together and really enjoy education and want to fight for people to study law. Because law is not easy. It's not an easy major. It's well, probably one of the hardest Fact, majors. He doesn't really take it's one them of the, it's seriously one of the hardest at all at this well. point. One of his friends is Johan Johnny Jebson, the orphan son of a Hamburg ship owner. He will recall later that... We both had some intellectual pretensions, but on the side, we were addicted to sports cars and sporting girls and had enough money to keep them both running. <laughs> but their relationship is about to get a lot more Who serious. Who doesn't like that? Cars and girls. That's like, what man doesn't want that combination? That's like the best combo for a guy. If you have a female that's really great looking, a woman that's really great looking, you got a car that's really great looking, you're set for, you know what I'm saying? That's all, a, that's all us guys needs. Us guys are really basic you know what I'm saying? Our needs are very basic. Just women and a good car. See, the two regularly attend debates at the Foreign Students Club. Though not really political, Popov gives some pro-democracy speeches there, which catch the attention of the Gestapo. Shortly after he graduates in 1937, he is arrested and accused of being a communist. After being questioned over eight days and nights, the Gestapo transfers him... They arrested him for being a communist? ...to Freiburg prison, likely to await transfer to a concentration camp. Luckily for him, his friend comes to his rescue. Johnny drives to Switzerland and telephones Dusko's father about what has happened. Having considerable political influence, the father asks the Yugoslav government for help. The government contacts Hermann Goering, who arranges Popov's immediate release on condition he leave Germany within 24 mm. hours. 
he does, and returns to Belgrade and begins practicing law. In February 1940, after the war has begun, Johnny calls him. He must have had a lot of connections to be able to get out of the prison. Just be, they just told him to leave, basically. Okay. Favor. He is now apparently in the shipping business and needs Dusko's help in securing a Yugoslav license to get some German ships out of Trieste and safely pass the Allied blockade. Dusko helps out his old friend, and the two manage to eventually get the boats out of port. But Johnny then reveals he has joined the Abwehr, Germany's military intelligence. Though he is opposed to Nazism, he does feel loyalty to Germany. Plus, it also means he can maintain his high-flying life as a playboy businessman. <laughs> he asks for Disco's help one more time in drawing up a list of potential French collaborators for when Germany hopefully occupies France. Popov agrees and within a few weeks produces the information and a report for the Abwehr. However, Dusko Popov has made a duplicate copy that he also hands over to the British Embassy in Belgrade. The first secretary mm. is delighted and tells him to keep in touch with the Abwehr. Well, oh, so he doing some like he doing some crazy inside like behind the scenes work. That's crazy. Luckily for Popov, that summer Johnny returns again, bringing with him his superior, Major Munziger. The Major thanks Popov for his work, asks him for more help. The Germans need a man who can roll with the upper echelons of British society. And Popov seems to be just the man. The Major gives him a few days to decide, and Popov goes straight to the British. He talks with the MI6 chief of the Balkans, who wants him as a double agent. Mm. Popov accepts and goes back to Major Munziger. That's crazy. I can't believe people... But you, you know how much trouble they basically killed. They're they're like getting rid of him if they find out that he's a double agent. He's doing. He's a double. A you know how crazy that is. I can't believe people actually really go and do that. Like I play Call of Duty games, but imagine being a double agent and putting your life on a line. Like if you if they find out both sides that you, bro, that's crazy. To offer his service as a German spy, mm. the major gives him an exhaustive questionnaire seeks information on the defenses of the English coast, the location of military sites, who Winston Churchill's enemies are, and all that stuff. Did Johnny always know his old friend Dusko would betray the Germans? Well, we don't know for sure, but it seems that just before Popov leaves for London, Johnny tells him that he can get him some more information on Operation Sea Lion, the planned invasion of Britain. Mm. So by this point, he is obviously ready to also double-cross his Abwehr spy masters. But being anti not there's too much going on right now, bro. There's too much going on right now. So he's a double agent and he's gonna he's gonna double cross. I don't even know who's he, who's he who's Pop Pop loyal to. Like is he I feel like he's just like crossing every like you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to understand what's going on. Nazi, it's likely that Johnny contacted Pop Pop in the first place because he knew he would be a double agent. Anyway, just go Pop Pop. German codename Ivan okay. leaves for London in December, traveling via Lisbon to meet his Abwehr spymaster Major Ludovico von Karsthoff. Upon okay. arriving in Britain, he is given the British codename Scoot and goes to establish his cover as an agent for Yugoslav merchants wanting to import British goods. He sets up shop near Piccadilly Circus with the business name Tar Lair Limited Export Import, a joking nod to his handler, Colonel T. A. Robertson. Wow. Popov begins feeding Karstov just enough information to keep him interested. That which is true, which does no harm, there is some misleading half-truths, and there are lies which the Germans have no way to cross-reference. With his cover as an international businessman, Popov can fly back and forth to Lisbon. Karstov asks if he can recruit any more agents in Britain, so he gets Friedel Gertner and Dick Metcalf. Friedel is an Austrian woman with whom Popov is having an affair, and Dick is a fellow playboy. <laughs> Renamed Tricycle by the British, Popov is now in charge of two- So they're a trio now, they're a trio now. That's interesting. Two double agents- This whole story is crazy. campaign of hoodwinking the Germans. One particularly brilliant scheme is codenamed Midas. The Germans are having a problem paying their agents in Britain. Popov and Robertson realize they can set up a middleman who will pass the money on. 
but through a complicated arrangement of money laundering, it essentially means that the Abwehr are directly funding MI5's double agent system. Better yet, the Germans pay Popov a 10% commission mm. on the transactions. His reputation as a master spy, both in the Abwehr and British intelligence, is growing. Unfortunately, with the invasion and occupation of Yugoslavia in April 1941, his cover as a businessman is now useless. Wow. The Germans hope, though, that he can get a position as a Yugoslav delegate to the United States to build a spy ring there. The British. Wow! Don't, so they're gonna try to bring the United States into this as well. This is getting. This is getting real. It was already crazy already that he's with the British, with the Germans, and you know Belgrade. Like now that they're gonna try to bring the U.S. and try to. That's crazy. That's crazy. British approve the mission. He will remain under their control, but be on loan to the FBI. Dusko and Johnny want to see each other one last time and arrange to meet in Lisbon. Popov arrives in June, and it is there that he meets naval intelligence officer and future novelist Ian Fleming. Fleming is apparently very impressed with the double agent and will base some of his later James Bond novels around Popov's life. In fact, Fleming's inspiration for his first Bond story, Casino Royale, reportedly comes from him witnessing Popov place an extravagant bet at a Lisbon casino to defeat an old rival. Funnily enough, that's hold on. So he got inspiration to make a play or a movie about James Bond from this is just legendary stuff right here, bro. This is crazy. I'm gonna rewind this. Sorry. He meets naval intelligence officer and future novelist Ian Fleming. Wow, a novel. Fleming okay. is apparently very impressed with the double agent and will base some of his later James Bond novels around wow. Popov's life. In fact, Fleming's inspiration for his first Bond story, Casino Royale, reportedly comes from him witnessing Popov place an extravagant bet at a Lisbon casino to defeat an old rival. Wow. Funnily enough, Popov will always That's be so dope. insulted by That's all so this, dope. saying later that he doubts Bond would have survived more than 48 hours in the real world. But this isn't the most interesting <laughs> meeting. That's, he's right, though. Like, James Bond, like I said, he's just a made-up character. This dude, from what I'm hearing, he was doing this in real life. The amount of, like, the amount of intelligence, calmness you got to have in order to be a spy with with two rivals going at each other in a, in the middle of a war is like unmatched bro you've got to be like super intelligent super calm super smart like you've got to you know what i'm saying you've got to have your emotions in line because just one one wrong move and they're catching you popov has in lisbon first he meets with johnny who says he has just been in Italy for the Japanese, gathering information about the recent British surprise attack on the Italian fleet at Taranto, which we saw in our regular episodes. Then Popov has a final meeting with Karstov, who gives him his mission. He is to go to Oahu, Hawaii, and gather information about military facilities there, in particular, the naval base at Pearl Harbor. Mm. So while Johnny is gathering information for the Japanese, about maybe launching a game-changing naval raid, Popov is to investigate U.S. naval defenses in the Pacific. I'll let you put two and two together about what that signifies. Upon arrival in New York in August... What does that signify? I'm confused. Y'all gotta let me know in the comments. Let me rewind that. Maybe I'm lost, bro. I'm not really that good at knowing. I'm not good at history, guys. So y'all gotta help me with this history stuff, man. Maybe launching a game-changing naval raid Popov is to investigate U.S. naval defenses in the Pacific. I'll let you put two and two together about what that signifies. Mm. Upon arrival in New York in August, Popov tells the FBI everything he has learned so far, including the Japanese interest in Taranto and Pearl Harbor. The FBI write a report, but never share the information. In fact, Dusko Popov does not do well in America. The FBI strongly distrusts him, and their director, J. Edgar Hoover, apparently personally berates him for his womanizing mm. lifestyle. But this is not the end of his career. He's got a few more tricks up his sleeve, some of which may change the course of the entire war. Though each time he fools the Germans, he risks torture and death for not only himself, but also his family. That's what I'm saying. I'll He's literally... He's literally putting his life, like his life, his family, you know what I'm saying? Words Everybody. of one of his biographers, Larry Loftus, to explain how he does it. Like none other, Dusko Popov was born for the role. With equal measure, he could be and did wear all masks. Villain and hero, killer and lover, deceiver and patriot, but above all, he was a showman. He, he, 
He was a showman. If you'd like to learn about another side of the intelligence war, you can watch a special we did on Bletchley Park and Enigma right here. While Popov might be financed by the Abwehr, we rely solely on the support of the Time Ghost Army. That is what keeps this show running. So please join us at Patreon. Ah, okay, I enjoy this, man. This was very interesting. I also had a lot of I had a lot of questions, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, how real is this story? I know this has got to be real because this is history. Um, I had somebody break down the American thing where he was where they were trying to he was trying to invade he was trying to go to America and like explain what they were, he was talking about there. Um, and I also enjoyed this man. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, show me some love and the more likes you guys get the more I'll know that you guys want more videos like this and also comment and recommend me more videos that I should watch and that I should react to that are as interesting as this because this is very interesting I really did enjoy watching this and I really did enjoy learning about this so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as always man I hope you guys have a great day and your boys out have a good one y'all I'm out